the monk in the church is, is to be a steadfast, daily, humble witness to the ordinary things that human beings do in their life in terms of making a community and being a reflective presence in the world, in the church and in our society. People who have been Benedictine volunteers or people that have been students here, the deliverables that they take away from here, which has to do with uh, how to live together in community, um, how to be respectful of nature, um, how to be respectful of other people, how to uh, be a, someone who engages in prayer. So I think it's a, it's a crucial witness that we give to prayer, communal living, and uh, service through the work that we do. So monasticism at its best has always been permeable. So things going out from the monastery and things and people coming in as well. So you create this kind of uh, marvelously creative matrix where exciting things can happen. So a lot of reforms come from the monastic world, but monasteries have also been very good at knowing what we need to hold on to. So when things are at risk of being taken away or of being eroded somehow, we kind of keep the lamps burning. And getting that combination of being both progressive and conservative in the best sense is one of the tricks of monasticism. So we can be fully men of the 21st century and walk around in this, and we don't see a contradiction in that. To work and building the, the monastery and the abbey and the, the place as a sign of God's presence, that's, that's what I think is the role of the monk. Um, so that when people coming here, they can feel and see God's presence and also then see they have a role and they also have a place within the great embrace of God. And I think it's the monastery's job, the monk's job, to keep that, to keep that light going. And uh, it's, it's um, I think people, people, when they see it, they recognize it. We witness to the possibility that we can make choices that will last and, and carry us through an enormous range of time and space.